It is a really, really interesting question. And uh, also, in a way, it sounds today slightly funny also, because finding the needle today in a haystack probably least of the problem, I mean, it is least of a problem, but getting more and more haystacks is really expensive. That's why people want to collect more and more data. And a big data is a big business. There's more data you collect, that is the haystack. Big data is really huge <laughs> haystack. And there, to find information about my individual need, that the, the, the engines, the, the big data, that would do, and they'll quickly figure out what I do. So, finding the needle is, uh, uh, you know, is, uh, le uh, is less of a problem, but I think uh, creating haystack is big business, a lot of money. The more data you collect, more, uh, uh, you know, um, money you can generate. Uh, so, I think uh, now, uh, What's happening because of this, uh, the, the, the technological change and development where we are able to process huge amount of data on real-time basis. On a real-time basis now, people can actually monitor each and every move of mine, each and every conversation of mine, each and every visit to any store of mine, mm -hmm. you know, and then data gets processed real time and businesses would be able to predict what would be my next move. When can I again visit to the shop to buy a second get toothpaste? You know? And on what month I would like to have a toothpaste? Huh? And I, on a toothpaste whether I'd like to have the uh, picture of my daughter or my wife, you know? Because it's also becoming the era of mass customization. So even I buy a, a soap cake, that also is personalized probably with something personal message printed on the on the cover. So that that is possible because technology is able to notice me in the history, in the, among the millions of people, the individual is noticed, not only the individual is not as individuals behavioral pattern buying pattern you know lifestyle everything is monitored and then on the basis of that they can offer me a product and uh, it could be a, 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 a physical product it could be an insurance product you know what kind of uh, life insurance the policy i should have depending upon my lifestyle eating habits everything you know people might be able to offer me, uh, a, a, you know, uh, as a more appropriate uh, insurance, uh, health insurance, uh, you know, uh, package. So, this itself, I think, is really uh, a creating a, a, a mind-boggling, you know, um, non amount of opportunities for entrepreneurs. Okay. That's, that's one thing. And also, you know, there, there are a couple of other things which are right now, you know, um, uh, are, are right now uh, happening in the, in the in different um, areas, you know, different technologies. And that, just you think a little bit, that what would be its impact on our businesses on life, say, drive on this car. This is now, it is going to come anytime, probably in a, another three, four years time, it will be a, a normal um, kind of an experience, you know, in any city to have driverless cars moving around, because you know already the big you know, uh, automobile companies like, uh, you know, Nissan, Honda, uh, or Mercedes, or um, Volvo, all of them, their models are almost ready now. Google is already on an experimental basis. They, uh, they are actually operating the driverless car in Nevada. They have been licensed even to operate that uh, car. Oh. So, uh, now, think um, ahead a little bit, then see, uh, oh, um, uh, think of a scenario when uh, I want a product, I 
make a call, say I want pizza to be delivered at my residence at 8 in, nine, eight in the uh, evening. So now Pizza Hut or whatever, Mario Pizza, whatever, you know, they put on a, on a hand card that pizza and that automatically comes to me. I take the pizza, I swipe my card, you know, and probably I will give the trash back there, you know, and it goes back. I will be okay. That probably it will still take time for um, the the hand card from uh, uh, from pizza delivery place, you know, to uh, come to my place. But already I think Amazon has tested uh, the the drones uh, to deliver uh, a package, uh, um, a small packets to customer, you know, and and it. I, you know, it delivered, it came, landed, delivered the product. So, imagine the kind of impact it will have to a variety, variety of businesses. Okay, it will also wipe out lots of businesses, lots of businesses on survival. I mean, how many probably today uh, drivers are working in different organizations in any country? I mean, all this, the whole fleet of drivers, I probably would be extinct in uh, very soon because there's no requirement for that. Okay. Um, then uh, similarly, um, delivering the product also can be uh, done through a three D printer. Say uh, basically now, um, what may happen? Suppose you you are an entrepreneur in the US. You have developed a product, so you have developed the uh, um, product. Uh, uh, in terms of its software, uh, you know, you have designed everything, and then now you have a say, 3D printer somewhere in Trinidad. You are your partner, you know? so basically, I as a customer, I place the order with you. You press the command, and the local printer prints that product and brings it to me. You know? Instantaneous. So uh, today, if I want to place an order, even if I get a, a small spare parts from um, uh, from Alibaba in China. So it will, uh, if we, if I don't want to uh, pay, uh, you know, to DHL or Federal Express because because the freight charge is pretty high. So yeah, I tell uh, Alibaba that you send it through China Post free of cost. So it will, it may take two months time, but it will be delivered. Okay, but tomorrow. I tell Alibaba that I, I want this thing, you know, and in five minutes or maybe in one hour's time, uh, it would be delivered to me if I don't have a 3D printer at my own place on residence. So, uh, and, and now that will also happen and that will come to the healthcare. So, uh, your, uh, you know, whether it is your kidney, uh, your uh, limbs, you know, if it wants to be replaced. It would be printed and given to you without you uh, having to wait in the queue. You know? So, uh, 3D printing and particularly you now the latest development, the 3D, um, the, the uh, uh, printing using liquids, that is even making 3D printers of today are really obsolete because yeah. a, a normal 3D printer sometimes may take about six, seven hours to, uh, to manufacture a prototype which a liquid um, uh, 3D uh, printer may uh, do it in six, seven minutes time or ten minutes time. You know, so so you, you see now if, um, the thing which I was talking in the beginning of the uh, that exponential growth. See, even this growth is now we are reaching at such a stage that when even a technology like 3D printer uh, using um, uh, you know a solid um, uh, powders, you know. That technology, before it became commonplace, getting almost obsolete. Now it has been getting replaced by, you know, hopefully it will get replaced very soon by a 3D liquid printer. You know, uh, at least the um, the prototype or the the, the demonstration which was shown, uh, you know, recently, uh, it works. Uh, uh, and uh, I think also the the other very important thing, how to deliver this uh, is. Um, uh, would be uh, 
uh, decided by also the rapid development of brain computer interface when well, computer can actually read my brain and understand what do I want suppose if I am feeling depressed so it it would read my mind and it would realize that what kind of music probably it should play to make me cheer up. So, if suppose an entrepreneur who is having this kind of, uh, um, you know, databases of, you know, uh, of music where, I mean, they can provide the same that music, play that music uh, to a person who is undergoing some kind of, you know, depression or mental illness that's a tremendous service you know so same thing is going to happen in robotics <coughs> Japan which is now the the leader in robotics now already they are coming up with uh, uh, with um, uh, robots which can even replace a lecturer the robot can travel go to some other countries and deliver a lecture on behalf of the actual lecturer you know, and uh, robots are getting uh, used um, in place of nurses 24 by 7 excellent services so what we'll see that uh, in, in, you know that, that whatever the customer wants the technology you can ask the technology hey Google where can I find this so technology like a constant companion would not only answer can also arrange it to get delivered to you because they will also that computer that Google would maybe also communicate with other uh, service provider or other kind of you know businesses where that product can be delivered created delivered you know so it's a it's a whole world of network devices and together they will deliver a product or a service to a customer.